Hey, peace, love, and light, beautiful, beautiful people. I am Q. I am here to do a general reading for the collective. This is going to pick up on the yin energy, the divine feminine energy. Um, we're going to just tap in, see what's hidden in the energy for our beloved divine feminine, see what's coming and going out, going on. This will be a general reading, so eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This will also be a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing that was intended for you all to do so. For all who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Q. I am Claire Audient. So you will hear music in the background. I do incorporate those messages into the reading to just drive the point home. Um, and this is also timeless, like I said. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine time. And that was intended for you to do so. So before we delve into the reading, I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful message of love and light as I intuitively and discerningly pick up on the energies, numbers, synchronicities, vibrations of the cards. And so it is so mode be shade. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I call personally upon Archangel Mikael, Gabriel, Raphael, Metatron to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is so mode be ashe, ashe, ashe. So let's delve, dive, and go deep. So we have know thyself, and then we have connect. So I feel like a lot of you have done a lot of inner work. A lot of you have been grounding yourselves. A lot of you have been working on yourselves, and you've been healing from past trauma. I feel like through you healing, through you also learning to love yourselves, you now know who you are, and it's because you connected to your higher selves. You listened to your intuition in situations that potentially were leading you astray and i feel like that's how you were able to overcome those difficulties your ancestors your angels the deities they see you they're watching over you they're very pleased with the progress that you have made i feel like a lot of you are also you know starting to see things clearly tapping into your intuition your higher selves you're seeing the direction that you wish to go in your lives the name of the song that's playing right now is Fela Kuti Lady. And we have cardinal birds here. So I do feel like your ancestors, because cardinal birds, uh, when I looked up the spiritual meaning of cardinal birds, it represents, um, you know, the energy, you know, your ancestors in the spirit realm. So cardinal birds, if you see the red cardinal birds, that would be masculine energy. And though that would be, you know, a very... A strong indication that your ancestors are watching over you, protecting you. If you see a brown cardinal bird, that would be the feminine energy. So perhaps some of you have lost loved ones, mothers, fathers, grandmothers, grandfathers, uncles, you know, even siblings, cousins. You have family member that is, they're seeing your progress. They're proud of you. They're pleased with you. They're watching over you and you're spi they're spiritually guiding you. You know, so if some of you feel motivated, you know, maybe during nature walks, you find yourselves bumping into those beautiful red, vibrant cardinal birds. You may hear their calls when you wake up in the a.m. Or you may even just hear them throughout your day. And that is just a clear sign that they're with you. They see what you're going through, but they're also guiding you. There's a sense of like protection. And I'm hearing because um, the name of this song is Lady. So it may be a feminine energy that you all are bumping into constantly. So maybe some of you, like I said, you may have lost your mom. You may have lost your grandmother. You may have lost a sister, an aunt, a cousin, a friend, a dear friend. And they are with you. You know, they, they just want you to know that they're with you. We have soul family, soul connection soul tribe so you definitely this is someone who is a part of your your family dynamic your family um tree you know this also is speaking to you all coming into uh union with you know some really uh beautiful energy at this time divine feminines 
So you may be meeting people that are on your frequency, on your wavelength. You're starting to have more deep, more profound connections. You're starting to just, you know, connect with other like minds, if you will. See that yin and yang energy. So this is about balance. This is, you know, balance between the masculine and feminine energy. So I do feel like a lot of you have found balance. I feel like a lot of you are going to meet a, the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang. I feel like there's a union that's taking place because you all have embraced your womanhood. You have stood erect. You found your power. You found your worth. And you are definitely in alignment with your higher selves. Fork tongue. Some of you have had to deal with a lot of deception in your form of relationships. I feel like with the forked tongues, that speaks to snakes, people you can't trust, people you may have trusted that you had to discover were not trustworthy. They may have been people that you thought were, you know, your divine partner. Maybe this was a divine partner, a divine union with which you discovered this person was not being honest. They weren't being true. They weren't being faithful or loyal to you. And that is a part of, you know, sometimes the karmic lessons is to learn, you know, sometimes the people that we may put a lot of our trust and our faith in, they may not be who we thought they were. But I feel whatever balance, um, whatever was out of balance, you have found balance. See that the banished card speaks to like baneful energy. And that's like deceptive, destructive you know, energy. So someone was definitely like countering, you know, whatever you were doing to nurture and feed whatever connections. I feel like the other person was doing everything they could to counter that. So you may have discovered that someone was really toxic for you. They weren't good for you. Their intentions weren't pure. They were dishonest. We already saw a forked tongue. So there was a lot of deception. There was a lot of speaking out of both sides of their mouths. There's gaslighting I'm picking up on. There's just someone betrayed your trust. And this was potentially someone who could have been, you know, like a twin flame, your divine masculine. For a lot of you, you're no longer in union with this person. And it's because a lot of you discovered they were not being truthful. They, not were, be they were not being honest. They didn't have your best interest at heart. So a lot of you could have just purged that person, cut yourselves free, broke free from that energy. What did I just say? Can't you can't make this up. So you've purged certain people out of your lives, certain situations, certain belief systems. I feel like a lot of you have transformed. You've changed. And it's because you all found your balance. Someone was throwing you out of balance. There was definitely someone. Uh, Throwing you out of balance because maybe they had another lady on the side, another chick on the side. I'm hearing that. Look at this. I want to sex you up energy and then purge. So, yeah, you was definitely dealing with someone who was um, a sexual deviant. Someone who may have been um, really connected with very incubus, succubus energy. This speaks to like energy vampirism, but someone who uses sex as a weapon. So I do feel like you purge someone who was... Um, almost like, you know, someone who had addictions. Maybe they were addicted to sex. Maybe that's what some of you may have discovered is that someone was like, you know, setting up accounts online and meeting women on like Craigslist, you know, meeting women on social media, dating sites, whatever. But you purge that energy. And I feel like there was a lot of sadness, a lot of disappointment, even for some of you, just depression. Because your connection was not, you know, it wasn't nurturing you in the ways that you were nurturing it. And so I feel like a lot of you, you know, started to find your happiness when you left that person behind, when you released that person. You were able to find your happiness again. You were able to get your groove back is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. So let's go ahead and tap and tune in. That was just what I was picking up on the shuffle. Let's go ahead, cut the deck. And we're going to pick up on the energy, see what's coming in, going out, going on. Overall energy surrounding the situation, we have purge. So it's time for you all to purge. And purge is representing the release of things that no longer serve your highest good. So people, 
if there's people around you that you're looking around, you know, that you're looking at and you know that there were certain instances where they let you down, they didn't really come through for you in those tight squeezes, you might need to cut that person off. If there are people that you know that you've been there, right there, as soon as they called you there, and then when you needed them that one little time and they didn't pick up their phone or they didn't return your call or they didn't check in with you, you know what the saying is, check on your, your, your strong friends. You may be that strong friend that no one was checking in on. It's time to release those relationships because those are one-sided. If you're going to be in a partnership, a friendship, connection, a family dynamic, it has to be reciprocal in order for it to be healthy. Otherwise, what's the point? You can't be the only one feeding and nurturing and, and watering and cultivating relationships. It is, it, it, is a, it is both parties that is responsible for that. So I feel like a lot of you may need to cut some folks off. Maybe some of you are in environments where it's very toxic. Maybe you have some sort of, you know, toxic neighbors where there's a lot of just this unspoken tension where they may not like you because of your nationality, your ethnic background, whatever the case may be. So you may see little spiteful things being done to your vehicle. You come out, there's a scratch. Maybe it's time for you to release that space. Maybe it's time for you to get out of that, that place. Get away from that place. Purge it. Find something new. Maybe there's certain things that you all do that's not beneficial to your, your wellness, your health and wellness. Maybe some of you smoke cigarettes, maybe some of you, you know, hookah, maybe some of you vipe or vape or whatever the hell the words are nowadays. I don't even know what the hell is going on, <laughs> but it's like maybe some of you may need to like purge some of these, these habits, these, these, um, these little habits that you may have picked up. And it's so easy to pick up bad habits when you're, you know, in a low vibration, so maybe it's time to like release some of this stuff. And Michael Jackson is singing human nature. So no one's perfect. You know, we all have imperfections. But when you notice that things aren't serving your highest good, then it is your duty to try to transition into, you know, a healthier lifestyle. You know, because you only get you only have one life to live. And it's, it's best to to make sure that you are healthy, that you are being your best version of yourselves. So it's time to purge. So this is the energy surrounding this situation. Maybe some of you are already doing that. Maybe some of you may need to do spiritual baths, detox. I'm doing uh, another, I just did um, during the Lionsgate portal for that week from August 1st all the way through the 7th of August, I did a um, purge. I said a purge. I did a um, fast. And so I drank tea, I drank water, and I had my sunflower seeds, which you see back there. I'm starting again today. So today I've been doing it. I've had nothing but tea. I drank me a cup of mullein tea earlier, and now I'm just drinking my green tea and my, you know, my black tea. But that's what I'm going to do for the next seven days. And so, you know, maybe that's what some of you all are doing. You're starting to like, you know, just start paying attention to your body, focusing on more healthy um practices, you know, just doing the things that are going to get you right mentally, emotionally, physically. So a lot of you, you know, maybe you're doing spiritual baths, maybe you're smudging your homes, maybe some of you are decluttering. If you aren't, that's what spirit is probably telling you to do. We have, I want to sex you up for the energy that's surrounding the situation or the energy of the person that you may be attracting to you. They're sexually attracted to you. It's human nature. You know, you can't help it that you a sexy little beast. <laughs> so, you know, but just be mindful if that's not what you want. You know, if you are not looking for superficial relationships and you do not want someone to just see you in the eyes of, you know, a sex, you know, slave, then just be mindful because someone is definitely lusting after you, craving you. Someone really wants to, you know, engage in some some sort of sexual wants a boo-boo. So just be mindful. So what's going on with our divine feminines, with the yin energy? What is hidden in the emotions of the person that they are attracting? Thank you, spirit. What's hidden in, the men, uh, in their emotions is know thyself. So someone has been learning. Someone that you're attracting is very in tune. They're in alignment. When you, know, when you have knowledge of self, 
That means that you've been through some things. You've had some life experiences which has taught you. So this, this, this masculine, they've been going through a, 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 you know, a transformation process same as you. Someone is coming in you know, who has healed some past traumas, who has gone through some things and they've learned through those life lessons. And not only have they've gone through that and learned, but they've also learned to love themselves. They've learned to become more emotionally intelligent, but they have gained some sense of knowledge. Maybe your divine masculine has had to purge people, places and things. Maybe they've discovered that some of the people that they were around were toxic. I feel like this person is someone, as I said in the opening of this reading, is someone you're in separation with. You're no longer communicating with this person. You've created some sort of distance, a safe space so that you could do your work and you creating that space has triggered your person, activated your person to do theirs. And now this, this sense of knowledge and wisdom and understanding. The song that's playing right now is uh, DeBarge, Stay With Me. So your person, your divine masculine wants you to stay with them. How they feel about you is illusions, delusions, faulty foundations. This is the tower moment. They may feel like it's ending. They may feel like you are not going to put up with their bullshit because they have destroyed the castle you all were building initially. And they're going to be pleading to you, please stay with me. Please don't go. Some of them may travel to see you. This, this tower moment is inevitable. It's also, you know, what's necessary for you to see things clearly. Maybe there was a lot of illusions. Maybe some of you were delusional about your relationship. Maybe some of you couldn't see the forest from the trees. Some of you didn't cut your grass to see the snakes that were slithering around you. Some of you were so much uh, wrapped up in the illusion that, you know, this masculine painted for you that you, you couldn't see your way clear. You were mentally conflicted. But this person wants you to stay with them. How they feel about you is they're not sure that you're going to do so because they know that, you know, the tower has closed, the veil is pulled from your eyes, and you can see clearly what has been going on. You're no longer, you know, easily duped. You're no longer under any illusion or you're no longer confused about what was going on. Every ending denotes a new beginning. That's why these, you know, they're saying, please stay with me. Because I feel like, you know, you did your work. When you cut this person off, it may have triggered something within them to do better. Maybe you are the first person to challenge this person, you know, your divine masculine. So how does uh, the divine feminines... Okay, all right, I'm not taking these because they were all face down. And I want to make sure they... Okay. So how they feel about you is they feel like they want to come back into union. This is about, you know, communicating reconnecting and then we have I see you so perhaps someone is like spying on you maybe some of you are all you know really getting out there now maybe you're you know stepping out of your comfort zone you know but I feel like someone is kind of like watching you from a distance they're kind of like behind the scenes keeping tabs I feel like someone's wanting to reunite wanting to you know have this reunion with you I feel like your person has also been in like hermit mode because when you, you know, when you do this inner work, you can't be like, you know, socializing and out there in, in, in public. Like to, you, you got to be really focused, honed in on the healing process. So you kind of got to get into that hermit mode and you got to kind of, you know, detach and, you know, disconnect from the outside world so that you can hear, you know, that instruction. The answers we seek are found within. And that's why that hermit goes into the cave so that it can hear the instruction so it can reflect and introspect do that internal self audit trust and listen to their inner compass and that's exactly what you know this person has been doing and I feel like they're they're recognizing you for who you are they're realizing they want to come back into you know union with you that they would like to like reconnect maybe they're gonna you know ask you to come out you know to to break bread to have a little dinner to sit down you know, maybe have a conversation over a glass of wine. And the divine is almost like the divine is encouraging you. If someone does call you and encourage, you know, does call you and ask you to come out, ask you on a date, you know, to perhaps, um, you know, you can um, entertain it. But it's up to you. They want you to listen to your intuition. And the song that's playing now is I Want to Be Your Man by Roger. 
So the divine is telling you to listen to your intuition, trust your intuition. You are intuitive beings, divine feminines. So trust your feelings, trust what your energy speaks to you. If your energy is like, nah, we off that, I don't trust it, don't do it. If your energy is like, yo, I want to entertain, see where you at. Because it is possible that this person has been doing some work. It is possible that this person has changed, has transformed. I know a lot of my divine feminines are not interested in their past, in their ex, in nobody from their past. They're only focused on new, new. They want that new, new energy. They want new, new. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, the divine is saying, look, it's, it's totally your call. And I feel like intuitively, you know, I, uh, you're going to make the right judgment call for yourselves. You're not going to be duped. You're not going to allow yourselves to go through the same nonsense that you fought to get out of in the past because you've already purged a lot of the things that were not serving you you already see things clearly so divine spirit of love and light what's hidden in the energy for our beloved yin energy what's hidden in the energy for our beloved divine feminine what's hidden in the energy thank you spirit the number seven what's hidden in the energy the number seven represents that seventh chakra which is your crown chakra so again reference on your intuition seven for some of you someone could have been born in the seventh month maybe this is a cancerian energy maybe someone was born on the seventh day whatever the case may be this seven could be someone's life path number maybe in seven days maybe in seven minutes maybe in seven months maybe in seven weeks you will hear from your person because someone is realizing they want to be your man so I feel like with this seven here, the divine is telling you to also trust your intuition. Stay in alignment. Don't get all googly eyed and, and crazy because someone is coming back saying they want to be a man or they want to make sure you're checking for change behavior. Make sure this person is not coming back to trigger you. You know what I'm saying? Like, because remember, whoever you were dealing with before, there was really like a snake and you've already did the work to purge, to release, to cleanse yourself of, you know, certain behaviors ideologies belief systems habits people things that weren't serving you you've already worked hard to release that energy so the divine already was like look tap and tune in you know make sure because what this person is doing they are spying on you they are watching you at a distance they are desiring to tell you whatever this song is is communicating which is they want to be your man and the seven is maybe some of you already know this. You can feel it because this you're picking up on this person energetically. This is like I'm picking up high priestess energy for my divine feminines. Y'all are tapped in, tuned in. You are on the frequency so you can pick up on energy. You know what I'm saying? You have no problem being able to read energy, to speak energy, to feel the energy, the intentions of others. That's how tapped in you are. That's how much work you've been doing. The divine is telling you forwards, always backwards, never. Don't look backwards, look forward. All you have is this right now moment. So that's why they're like really emphasizing the importance of trusting your intuition to be discerning in this process. Forwards, always backwards, never. Perhaps for some of you, they're telling you, you know, don't think about the past. Focus on moving forward. Focus on the future. Focus on, you know, picking up and rebuilding on a solid foundation. Whatever's destroyed has to be rebuilt especially a relationship if you destroy a relationship with you know the lack of being faithful or you know with with being unfaithful rather when you're being unfaithful and you're not trustworthy or you're disloyal then you have to like build that up but you can't build it up when you're building on a faulty foundation so i feel like if someone is potentially considering reconciliation the divine is telling you like you're going to have to rebuild on a solid foundation and that person is going to have to come in knowing that they're going to have to regain your trust and they have to be willing to do whatever it takes to do that they can't come back with ultimatums or coming back resistant of what you may need to you know even consider taking that step to you know trying to reconcile if somebody's still coming back talking about what they need to do or what they want to do or how they're going to function and they're not willing to consider your feelings even after destroying um the connection or betraying your trust or gaslighting and lying then that's not somebody that you should take seriously and the divine is telling you trust what you feel trust what you see trust what you know because for most of us, 
forwards, always backwards, never means new, new, not interested in the old. Don't go backwards, go forwards. The divine is giving you that warning shot, bra bra. Like, trust and believe that, you know, potentially somebody could be coming back, you know, and they may not have the best interests at heart. Oh my God, something's in my eye, pardon me. Ooh. So, all right, divine spirit of love and light. So, um, okay. So soul family. So on the bottom of the deck, and then we have turn that frown upside down. So the outcome is soul family. So you will come into union. I feel like the divine is telling you, look, you have a divine union. All right. And you may have like a choice, a decision to make. You may be in a fork of the road situation where you're going to have two different directions. You could take it. You know what I'm saying? And you may have to make a left. You might have to veer right. But at the end of the day, they're telling you, look, trust your inner gumption because you have the wisdom to make this decision. You have to trust what you feel in your gut in terms of what direction or what you're going to do about a relationship. Because a lot of you have been working very hard. The energy surrounding this situation was purged. So maybe the divine is telling you it's time to let go someone that isn't healthy for you, that's toxic, that has no good intentions for you. This person may be watching you, spying on you, or maybe that's a new person that could be watching you and spying on you before they come in. You do have your soul tribe that's ushering up, that's about to enter into your life. Maybe it's, it has already begun. And I feel like for a lot of you, the divine could be telling you like to hold out because you have someone that could be the yang to your yin, yin to your yang coming in. And um, they're going to make you happy. Many of you are like really perturbed. You're really disappointed. You're saddened. Some of you might be even feeling a little blah about love. Some of you may be feeling a little jaded, a little scorned, a little frustrated, a little aggravated, a little saddened, a little resentful, a little, you know what I'm saying, holding on to animosity. The divine is telling you, turn that frown upside down. It's time for you to find the joy, the happiness, the peace in your lives. And I feel like it's coming, but you have to trust the process. I want to get some more messages. This is more so focused on like love connections. That other deck is just like real life stuff. <laughs> so we have, I mean, it's all real life, but you know what I mean? So we have put you in your needs first from this moment on and keep it moving. It ain't about shit. This is the split. So what was I saying? Put you in your needs first. No need for you to be self-sabotaging and, and overcompensating this go around because you've already learned that you weren't receiving what you needed in your past relationship. So you can't be putting yourself out there, you know what I'm saying, to get used, to get duped, to get played again. The divine is telling you clearly, it's time to keep it pushing. You could forgive, but you don't have to forget. You know your worth now. And so you can absolutely get what you desire. And this will be your absolute you know, divine partner. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's see what's coming and going out, going on for our divine feminines. See that someone's jonesing on you and that could be what you're picking up energetically. And that's why, you know, you may feel a little conflicted. And that's why I was picking up that fork in the road because there's this choice you all are going to have to make between someone from your past. And I feel someone new that the divine is sending to you. And I'm hearing tests. This is a test. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like the divine is testing you to see if you've really healed, if you've really learned the lessons, if you've really let go of the past, because the new can't come in unless you let go of the past. And so this could be a test. And that's why the seven is here. And seven is a divine number. So it's like the divine is giving you, it's, it's like they're reminding you that you are armed with what you need to do the right things. You have to trust your inner wisdom, your inner knowledge. You have to trust your ability to make the right decisions. Someone's jonesing on you. So this person could be like what they could be doing because we have I see you is they could be watching, you know, your social media activity. Some of them could be just downright driving by your home. Some of them, if that's if you're in a vicinity close enough for them to do so. If not, some of them could just be simply looking at old photos. Like what you pay the most attention on or what you focus the most on is like what you will create. And so this person could be like literally obsessing over you, thinking of you, you know, envisioning, you know, having this, this time to reconnect fellowshipping with you or whatever and they could be like kind of like you know 
intermingling with your energy but the divine is warning you um like i said warning i'm hearing a warning shot like they're warning you to keep it moving because this person is not about shit they're not coming back a changed person they may feel in their energy that you're slipping away that you're moving forward with your life but i feel like and now i'm picking up that there's definitely two different energies because one person is coming back meaning business this is someone who has knowledge itself this is someone who has taken those necessary steps whatever trauma they've healed it because the steps to knowing thyself is first you have to heal thyself and then when you heal yourself from past trauma from past hurt and you know and you forgive then you learn to love yourselves and then you begin to have an emotional intelligence and you become more self-aware but also aware of others feelings and emotions and then when you have that understanding then you move to the energy of knowing that self so there's two different energies that i'm picking up on and this person that's coming in is absolutely your match your twin Whatever I was picking up on with the fork tongues and then we had, you know, the keep it moving. Someone's going to come back to try to challenge you. And the divine is saying, look, you tapped in spiritually guided, divinely protected. So there is a, a, a union here that the divine is, is like is bringing in for you because a lot of you have been praying, sending up prayers, petitions. You've been writing in your manifestation journals, what you desire, what you wish to call in. And so the divine is giving it to you. But the divine is also going to test to see if you're ready for it because they're going to send that past person back that triggered you to do your spiritual work and for you to realize what you don't want so that you could call in what you do want. But they're going to trigger you and they're going to challenge you to see if you're going to make the right decisions. Remember, you had that that card that said, keep it moving. They ain't about shit. And then you had the other card that was telling you that someone was, you know, what I'm saying like take your power back now so you have to you know no it said um um put you and your needs first and foremost so you have to put yourself first because someone may be coming back because they're going through karma you know for whatever they did to you now they're going through it and it ain't a pretty sight you know what i'm saying and because you're so empathic and compassionate some of y'all could possibly fall into the trap of becoming emotionally invested but that's why the divine is like look you know keep it moving because all they doing is what they always did all they've been doing is leaning on you in their time of needs but when you needed them they abandoned ship so the divine is like look don't be a doormat don't be laying out red carpets for people who wouldn't even give you the time of day when you were going through it who wasn't even picking up your calls when you was in pain who wasn't even like the, it, no so it's like yo protect yourselves you, it, it's time to protect yourselves. It's time to put you in yourself first and foremost because you can't step in the way of what the divine is potentially teaching someone. So you have to let people go through their process the same way you had to go through yours on your own. So don't step in the way of what the divine could potentially be teaching, you know, a, a, a divine masculine or a masculine. It's 1344 on my clock, which is 444. So that's confirmation for some of y'all. And that 444 breaks down to 12 and 12 rep breaks down to three. So three speaks to being strong it speaks to your solar plexus, where is your, that's also that gut instinct, like I was saying, but it also speaks to like, you know, that's the sun that shines within us in regards to like the chakras. So it's like, you have to be illuminated. You have to be clear, but you also have to know your worth. You have to know your power. You have to know, you know what I'm saying? You have to demand your respect and you have to set healthy boundaries so that others do not try to overstep them. So use your first eye to see. What was I saying about the divine telling you to listen to your intuition? Not the two. They will deceive you. So someone may come back like a bruised, wounded animal. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't have no help because this is like we born alone, we die alone. You got to go through the fire. Especially what you put out in the universe. You got to answer for that. Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. So it's a possibility that your person could be going through karma and they could be calling you they could be seeking you know some sense of comfort there's nothing wrong with being compassionate i don't want to put that out like i'm telling you to just treat them like shit and kick them when they down but i'm definitely telling you like you know you don't have to like bend over backwards for anyone and so we have don't you know that by luther vandross so someone's going to say like don't you know i love you and then we got you plus me 
but the divine is also telling you use your first side to see because you know there is this potential that someone who brought a lot of imbalance with that tower who destroyed what you were building may return this could be the masculine the divine masculine the yang you know the yin to your yang or the yang to your yin rather and they could come back saying like don't you know i love you like don't you know and, and truthfully speaking no you didn't know that because they didn't show that not when they was cheating not when they was creeping around not when they were being disloyal not when they was treating you like an option not when they abandoned your ass so you don't know that and the divine is like look for some of you all they do love you so use your first thought to see and not your two in your head for some of y'all like i said you may not be in communication with their person and so you may not even feel loved but this person may be feeling this inside you know so destroy and rebuild this is another tower reference and this is the energy surrounding the situation look at that destroy and rebuild and purge so this tower moment happened this was inevitable it was necessary because there was a lot of things going on behind the scenes that you may not have known there was a lot of lies there was a lot of deception and there was a lot of trickery there was gaslighting there was deception this person may have betrayed you, betrayed your trust, and may have abandoned you flat out. But I feel like you could not have wake, awakened had you not gone through this, this, you know, very painful ending. A lot of pain was caused, but this trigger, I'm hearing trigger, you know, this is a trigger point. This was a trigger for you to start doing your, your own healing, your own, you know, soul um, healing, your healing at a soul level, I should say. But this destroy and rebuild energy is scorpionic energy. So transformation, shifts, shifts in consciousness, shifts in the way that you're seeing things, purging old belief systems like I was saying earlier, purging the way that you conceive or perceive love rather, purging the way you perceive even relationships, partnerships, friendships, because you've learned the snakes, you saw the snakes, you cut their heads off and spited their asses. So it's like you released things that were not serving you. And this is what this is saying. Look at this. The world card is here. Right underneath that is watching me. What was I saying? Someone is definitely keeping tabs, spying on you, trying to learn you, trying to figure out how to come in. You know, they may invite you out. This is someone that may, you know, invite you out to go, like I said, go sit down and have a glass of wine and discuss some things. Someone is definitely keeping you in there that like you're you're in their scope. But we also have this world card. So there was a major change, a major shift. There was a lot of lessons learned. I feel like a lot of you have gained a different perspective. You've gained a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself, of the soul process, this soul mission that you now are on. I feel like a lot of you have gained knowledge of self, just like the, call, the card is here. And your person has also done some work on themselves. Many of you have become spiritually enlightened and in alignment. You've been out. You, uh, many of you were in disharmony with yourselves, but you have found that sense of harmony because you've had no choice but to work on yourselves. Take your power back now. This is your opportunity. Things end for a reason. And the divine is congratulating you for ending that cycle. That speaks to like evolution. That speaks to your ascension. That speaks to like graduating to the next level. Look at this. There's going to be a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities. I just saw 1344 and that's synchronicity. When you break down that 13, that's four, 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 four. I got my computer set on a uh, military sign. And then I have the other clocks in my home set on regular time. So I see different synchronicities. But this is the energy and sometimes I see the times on the actual camera. So I'm, I'm incorporating all of the synchronicities around me. And some of you may also do that. So when I say, oh, it's 444 on the time clock and then I'll be like 1111 on the, you know, on the camera clock. Of course, that it, it doesn't sit right. Somebody was trying to read me and I just deleted the comment because I'm like, boo -boo, you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't get it because you're not on the frequency. So people be looking for something. They be looking for something negative and, and that's just the way they think. So I was just like, I don't want, you know, I don't want to confuse anybody. I, the one thing I don't do is lie. I'm not a liar. And, and, and so a lot of you, I want to break that down to you. And when I be saying these different numbers, even if it's not in sequence, I have my computer set on military time. I'm going to say it again so you all will understand. I have my, my computer set on military time. So right now it's 1351. So that's 5-5. Five, five. See that? See how things happen? 1351, 5-5. Five, five. I have my house clocks, my clock next to my work desk 
is set regular Easter standing time. Then I also associate the clock time, the time on the actual time of the, the recorder. So those are the different times that I'll be catching. So you all may be seeing synchronicities. Some of y'all may be driving behind cars and be like, oh, snap, that's 888 or it breaks down to 555 or 444. Some of you may look at an address and it's all synchronicity. Some of you may just be catching the synchronicity in the times, whatever the case may be. Something is happening in a synchronistic manner. It's going to be a synchronistic manner. Something's going to occur. And we have My Funny Valentine by Shaka Khan. So, yeah, My Funny Valentine. All right, so let's tap and tune in. So we have You Left Me in My Darkest Time. What was I saying about, you know, this energy of abandonment? Someone feels abandoned. Maybe someone was abandoned and they had to go through their own little, you know, healing process. My Funny Valentine. So this is someone that, you know, your Valentine is a lover. So my funny Valentine done abandoned me during my darkest times. But this triggered someone to discover their worth and value. Just because someone don't make time for you don't mean you're worthless. Doesn't mean you're, you know, invaluable. Nah, that's, that's, a, that's misconception. Someone did their due diligence, did their work. This is someone that you're here, that, that's, I feel like you're attracting. Because this is the energy of someone that you're attracting, how they're feeling in their emotions. So someone else was also abandoned. I feel like I'm hearing mirror. So you all are like mirroring one another for your divine masculine that's coming in for you. Remember, you had soul family. So this is absolutely going to be someone um, that speaks the same love language, that's on the same frequency, vibration. They're coming in to be, you know, um, invest emotionally. This is someone that wants to build a household, a family. They p p could potentially, for some of y'all, want to have, fam you know, children. This is someone who does want to be able to like do a lot of things with you. Like they want to take you out. They're going to court you, whoever this is. And it's because they're seeking long-term commitment. They're not looking to play. They don't just have a bunch of women holed up somewhere. They don't have no secret black books that they pull out randomly. This is someone that's absolutely coming in for the right reasons, who is on the same wavelength because the divine received your prayers and petitions. And you're going to be tested to see if that's what you really want. Don't ask for it. Like you say, like, it's one of those things like be careful what you ask for because it's coming. And that's what's happening. You're attracting someone that you've been praying for. This person is going to court you. They're going to take you out to eat. They're going to buy you things. They're going to be chivalrous. They're going to be very charming. They're going to buy you flowers just because. Just because. They're going to just be like pick you up from work and, you know, for some of y'all who don't work at home, they're going to pick you up from work and just drive you somewhere and take you to eat or just do kind things to show you their love. This is someone willing to invest emotionally. You know what I'm saying? That's a very beautiful commitment when you emotionally invest. Some people just invest based off finances. Some people don't even realize their relationships were nothing more than roommate circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Because they were just together so that they could pay the bills, so that they can survive. They weren't even in a loving relationship. There was no emotional investment. There was nothing being invested. There was nothing being nurtured or cultivated in that partnership other than what bills needed to pay and what needed to be paid at what time. That was only conversations that some of y'all were having with your partners. And now there's someone emotionally coming in to invest. Someone who's thinking about long term. They're thinking about the future with you. They're thinking about building a family, a tribe. They're thinking about security, stability, being a support system. And then this is how they feel about you. We're clarifying the cards for how they feel about you. This person's watching you. Somebody is admiring you from a distance. And they want to, you know, they want to, they want a fellowship. They want to take you out. They want to like, it's almost like this person wants to like, they want to like, um, how do you call it? They want to, um, give me a moment. I want to find the word. They want to show you off. You know what I'm saying? They kind of want to like show you off. They, it's like they, they're proud to have you on their arm. And the song that's playing right now is Rock um, Creek Park by the Blackbirds.
So maybe they want to spend a lot of time with y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know, taking walks, taking nature walks, having nature talks, just kind of building the connection, grounding it, doing a lot of outings, doing a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe even doing yoga, but Rock Creek. So maybe they even want to like, they just want to solidify a partnership with you is also what I'm picking up. But yeah, this is someone that definitely is, is coming in to invest emotionally. So why is fellowship, polarization, socialize, get out there here for how they feel? Goodness gracious. All right, too many cards. Oh my God. There's too many cards. I'm not going to take all these thousands of cards. We're going to do that again. Very interesting what came out. And then we see a lot of cards, you know, duplicating. Yep. So let's let's see what else we get. Let's see. All right. So why is fellowship, polarization, socialize, get out there here? How they feel about our beloved divine feminines, the yin energy. Okay, same thing happened, but look what flew out. These same cards, these same cards that I just saw, and then we have no reciprocity. Take, take, take. Remember, I was picking up on two different energies. Somebody spying on you, and it could be that past person who's keeping tabs on you, watching you. You know what I'm saying? Kind of reminiscing, looking at you, watching you thrive, watching you change. But you do have someone here who's also very committed. Wrong. Oh, goodness, I can't see. All right. Who's willing to come in and fellowship to partner with you. This is someone that really wants to um, invest in you emotionally. See that? And the song that's playing is um, I'm Still Waiting by um, Jodeci featuring Puff Daddy. So definitely there's someone who's really serious about investing. And he's saying just a little bit of love is all I need. And the person that you have spying on you is someone who definitely was a taker, didn't invest, didn't, you know, give you no, they didn't make you feel safe and secure in the partnership. This is someone that made you kind of feel like you had to fight for their attention. You had to fight for their love. You know what I'm saying? But you ended that connection, that partnership. You purged that relationship because you learned that what love was it. And I feel like this person knows that you're not with the shits. They know that they have to tread lightly with you because you're not putting up with their nonsense. 46, 46, 10, 10 on the clock. It was just 10, 10 on the, you could look at your timer. You know what I'm saying? So you, you definitely ended. And this is what the world card indicates and symbolizes. This is the world card. The end of a toxic cycle. Completion, completion, completion. And you're no longer putting up with the bullshit, with the shenanigans. This person was a taker. They definitely did not reciprocate. They definitely didn't make you feel supported or protected. This person is spying on you, watching you. Trying to make sure that you're not creeping with some, not even creeping because you're a free divine feminine that can do whatever the hell she pleases but a lot of you are focused on yourselves you have rebuilt you've been rebuilding and you're rebuilding with a more conscious uh focused and more you have a more um you know exactly what you want this time around you're no longer confused about what you want. You're no longer confused about what you don't want. You know what toxicity is. You know what the toxic signs are. You know what narcissism is now. You've learned it from your past person because this person didn't feel like they were responsible for doing anything other than taking from you. This person was a user. They were abuser. They were physically, for some of you, were abusive. Mentally, obviously, psychologically, obviously, rather. And they were also like emotionally. Some of them, they verbally abused you. They want forgiveness because you've ended things. And with you ending these toxic cycles, it triggers that masculine energy. This person was narcissistic. They broke your trust. What was I saying about someone being disloyal, unfaithful, abandoning you? You left me in my darkest time is speaking to someone feeling abandoned. How someone feels in their emotions about, you know, that you're attracting. Someone else has gone through the same thing you, you have gone through. I'm hearing mirror. So it's almost like you all are mirroring one another. In the past, you may have mirrored this toxic person, which is why they came into your life to teach you about healthy balance, self-love, knowing your worth, setting healthy boundaries. Now you know that. And now you're not putting up with it. 
You're not putting up with the games. You're not putting up with someone feeling like they could just come and toy with you and bounce. There's no in and out with you. If you're not going to be consistent, stay the fuck away. Pardon my language. But this is what a lot of you are feeling. This person is very aware because a lot of you, like I said, have blocka blocka blocked somebody. A lot of you have purged them. This person was deceptive. And I said that like that because that forked tongue showed up during the pre-reading. So they were speaking with a forked tongue, knowingly, being knowingly, like knowingly deceiving you, like intentionally deceiving you, telling you things that was the furthest thing from the truth. Pulling the wool over your eyes, gaslighting you, wolves and sheep clothing I'm here in, in my mind's eyes. Somebody you didn't expect to be that you discovered was all of that and then some. There was a snake, there was a fox, there was a trickster, there was deceptive, there was a liar, there was emotionally manipulative, and there were masterminds at that shit. Now they want forgiveness because they ain't getting no love. I'm still waiting. They're waiting for you to respond to a text they probably sent your ass seven months ago. Seven days, seven weeks ago. For them, <laughs> they still waiting. And they're going to be waiting until they come in the right way. Because a lot of you are not. You're, if you still detect with your psychic asses, divine feminines, if you still detect any sign of deception... You ain't putting up with it. You ain't even checking for them. So what's hidden in the energy for our divine feminines? For the yin energy. What's hidden in the energy for our divine feminines? What's hidden in the energy for our divine feminines? Thank you, spirit. So it says it sounds good, but... So look at that. Trusting one's intuition. Not, you're, not, you're doing exactly what the card said. You're using your first eye to see. You're not listening with your, you know, you're not even listening with your ears. You're looking at people's actions. You're reading energy. You're speaking energy. You're trusting what you're feeling in your gut. But you're trusting your intuition first and foremost. If it doesn't sound right, then you off that. Period. And that's what you're saying to yourself. Like, yeah, their words sound good. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for us to have that conversation or I'm still waiting for us to come back together. I'm still waiting for you. You're like, yeah, it sounds good. But and you're saying that because you feel like somebody's actions is not measuring up. You don't go by actions no more. You've learned from that. I mean, you don't go by words no more. You go by actions. That's the only way you could pick pick up on, you know, whether or not somebody's being real is through their actions. I'm falling off my game, messed around and fell in love. So somebody was definitely a player. Key word here is game. Somebody was used to playing the game. Somebody was used to being, you know, kind of in and out, flighty, un, you know, just unreliable. Just somebody who was just kind of flighty all over the place. We have Ramp playing Daylight. And this is the same music as um, is, um, um, A Tribe Called Quest, Benita Applebaum. But this is the original. So just think about Benita Applebaum. You got to put me on. But this is daylight. So what's daylight? Daylight shines the truth. It illuminates. So whatever was hidden in the darkness of the night is now, poof, you see the truth. You see the light. Clarity. Sounds good, but somebody's having an epiphany about how they feel. They're having this grand epiphany, but you still like, yeah, I don't trust it. Because they played games before. So now they're going to have to prove to you. They're going to have to prove to you because they was already self-absorbed, selfish, and you were selfless, and, they get, and you got nothing out of it. So now this person is like, they're feeling these feelings because they're having this grand epiphany. This is what's hidden in the energy, remember? So the number seven, aha moment, what did I say? That's the crown chakra. So somebody getting a download, somebody having some sort of epiphany, somebody got a light bulb that's like... Brighten it's like blinding them and you on your yeah it sounds good because you ain't falling for the okie doke no more you're you're too wise to fall for the okie doke you are tapped in right now to your intuition so you're not going against the grain anymore you're not doing that when your spirit said do this that's what you're doing you're going with that first instinct there's no more testing the waters with you it's black or white with you guys right now 
Your vulnerability is your superpower. So the fact that you're emotionally intelligent, the fact that you're compassionate, the fact that you're caring, the fact that you're loving and maternal and paternal, whatever, the fact that you are who you are is your superpower. A lot of you had to discover that through the pain. Through the pain, you discover a lot of things about you, including who you are and what you're made of. You realize how strong you were because you had no choice but to lean on your strength. But your vulnerability is your superpower, your ability to be an emotional being, to be emotionally or socially aware. You know what I'm saying? Being able to pick up on other people's energy. That's what the divine is telling you. This is your, your, your superpower. And this is why you're attracting other like minds. Other people who speak the same love language. Other people who are on the same frequency vibration as you. Daylight. Aha! That's what I'm picking up. Aha! I don't know where that's coming from. So why is Soul Tribe here? Soul Family, Soul Tribe. For what's coming in the out. For what's... um. For the outcome, Divine Spirit. Why is Soul Tribe here? For our beloved Divine Feminines, Yin Energy. All right, so we got one that flipped over. What did I just say about love language, baby? You're attracting someone that's going to speak the same love language. Daylight. Daylight, daylight. This is, I'm telling you, this is not a game, beloveds. Someone's coming in. That is on your frequency. You're going to be tested by the past. Someone's realizing a little too late that they love you. That's why I was picking up earlier. Fork in the road. There's two decisions. Two different people that's coming in at the same damn time. Somebody's spying on you. They know you ain't playing. It's 5555 on the clock just now. Check your timer. Not lying. 1010 10 again. That past person. Every time I talk about the past person, you notice 1010 10 shows up. Every time. So that's that person that you already had the ending with completion with they're going to come back to test you to see how much you've changed how much you've transformed this person here is your true soul mate your true twin flame whomever it is soul family soul tribe and love language is coming out somebody that's going to speak the same love language i just said that now we have i will always love you by truth and that's that past person telling you i will always love you because i feel like a lot of y'all are going to make a decision to go with someone who is new because it's going to be an effortless, just, it's just going to like, it's just going to feel natural. And it's because that's what you called in. What it, stop playing with me. Cut the karmic cords, lesson already learned. And we have troop playing, I will always love you. That masculine, that person that you were with in the past is realizing that they are going to love you. This person's realizing they was playing games with the wrong one. The one they was playing was the was the jewel was the diamond in the rough i will always love you that's what they're saying but the divine is telling you cut the karmic cord you already learned the lesson from that past person they triggered you they awakened you to your worth to your value and that's what you need to move forward with move forward with someone that's going to appreciate you for who you are that's going to be emotionally available emotionally intelligent remember i was saying whoever's coming in was also going through their own dark night of the soul journey they were also betrayed i kept picking up mirroring so when you are mirroring, uh, you know, that divine feminine energy who is a very emotionally intelligent, that means that that person that you're attracting, that you're mirroring or that's mirroring you is going to have to also be emotionally intelligent and speak the same love language. It's not a game. So the divine is encouraging you. Remember, they was telling you, you know, what I'm saying um, forwards ever, backwards, never. They was telling you all of that. They were also letting you know that someone is coming in to you know turn that frown upside down to bring happiness and joy peace and a lot you know just fulfillment you know what i'm saying emotional fulfillment free dome no you know what i'm saying no longer trap no more mind fuckery what was that saying about somebody who was very like they was emotionally manipulative but also psychologically manipulative so a lot of you it's it's time to cut that past person off it's time to remove you know to 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 keep it pushing, man. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? To to know your worth. When you know your worth, you don't settle. You know? When you know your worth, you know, it's like you can apologize someone. I mean, you could accept someone's apology. Um, you could show compassion, but that doesn't mean you gotta go back to that pers person that past person because I feel like new new. New 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 new. I might name this new new. <laughs> you want that new new and you're attracting that new new. Look at this. I pull out the deck. Look what's here. Shapeshifter. 
So someone could be, you know, intentionally like, you know, coming in, pretending. Remember you had the snake, you know what I'm saying? Forked tongues. So that means that that's somebody who, who you can't trust the word. And a shapeshifter is somebody who just, you know, they blend in. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, they just kind of, kind of blend in just to see what they need to see, hear what they need to hear. Look at that guidance. So a lot of you already know that many of you could be, you know, welcome. You're here seeking guidance, seeking, you know, which direction to go. You know what I'm saying? Many of you, like I said, could be tarot readers doing your own tarot readings, trying to figure out which direction to go and what to do. But I also attribute that to you being here, receiving this message, which is your confirmation. Some of y'all just needed to hear this. So we have adventure. They're encouraging you to go on a new adventure. I'm hearing take a risk. You know what I'm saying? Take that leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? New, new. Look at that. Take action. Take action. Be fearless. Follow your passions. I also feel like someone's taking action and coming in towards you. And I feel like Cupid um, energy from that. Like Cupid's arrow. Somebody's going to shoot their shot. And I also feel like, you know, the divine is telling you, like, take some time out to ground yourselves. To connect with your higher selves so that you can make the right decision because that's what that seven is. When you sit in silence, there's a need to like, you know, to meditate, to get things straight because we all know the answers we seek are found within. Some of us need to, you know, just kind of have that confirmation, you know what I'm saying? Which is why we all are here, you know, watching tarot. I do it also. Robin's Realm, check her out. I love her. And there's also Route 66. I was tapping into her channel and I also was tapping into um, um, what is his name? Oh, my God. I loved his readings. Oh, man. Oh, man. Breaking Bad Tarot. Oh, man. Ugh, I don't like that. But yeah, but there was two channels, two people who are uh, tapped into my channel, tuned into my channel. Um, I checked them out and, and I love their readings. You know, I get that energy. With Scorpio, so we got the light and the dark aspects of ourselves, and I just love the way uh, he re he reads. He's like, I just love his his mysticism. You can just tell that's that he he goes deep. But um, I cannot remember his name. Tower, what is the name of the? Look, now it's gonna bother me. Hold on. I believe it's Waking Bad. I don't even have my phone. My son has it. But I digress. But check them out. You'll find their information down. Like in you know they leave comments all the time. You know, and they also, you know, this, this is, you know, I do this because I love it. You know what I'm saying? I, I do this, um, you know, the readings because I love it, you know, but it starts with you having that passion, you know, for something to even pick up the cards and want to read for others. A lot of people don't feel like they want to read for others, but a lot of you are readers. A lot of you are healers. A lot of you are shamans. A lot of you are light workers. And I feel like the divine is like, you know, tap into your energy accept you know that about yourselves don't you know don't repress it don't suppress it like know what your purpose here here is because I feel like a lot of you have discovered that as well but I said all of that to say that you know sitting in silence many of you have come into alignment with your higher selves and that's what the seven is also instructing you know you divine feminines to do because the divine feminine is a, a master manifester she's also super psychic so you definitely have to trust your intuition. Show gratitude. Give thanks to your angels, your ancestors. S uh, utilize a lot of time in sacred spaces. If you have altars, if you have ponds or lakes that you like to go to, even, you know, trails in your neighborhood, nature walks will be a beautiful way to, uh, you know, give thanks to the most high, to your guides. You know what I'm saying? You could even pour libation on your altars. You could give them food offerings, candies. You know, even blow tobacco, whatever it is that you choose to do. Light candles, obviously. Incense. They love aromas. They love scents. They love things like that. But give gratitude. Give thanks. I feel like a lot of you are divinely protected. Just like the card said earlier, spiritually guided, divinely protected. And this is why you're coming out of difficult times. A lot of you are listening to your intuition. You already have the keys to knowledge, the keys to wisdom and understanding. And we have shame by Evelyn Champagne King. So I feel there's a sense of shame by that person who is definitely deceiving you. That person who was not reciprocating. There's a deep level of shame. Someone definitely feels very ashamed and very remorseful for the way that they misbehaved. 
in the past. This is someone you all could have had a family with. You could have been growing a family, building a family. And someone's ashamed at how they treated their family or mistreated their family. This is the overall energy surrounding the situation. We have destroy and rebuild and purge here, which is what the family card. So someone definitely has, you know, you, you've, you've gone through a tower moment with someone you were in a family with. And I feel like someone had some really bad habits that they needed to let go of. They really were dealing with a lot of like addictions, a lot of afflictions. See this? We have rescue. They needed some rescuing. And I feel like they started to like pay attention to their ancestors, to their guides, to their angels, started to assist them. And they, they were rescued from some sort of dark entity, something that was kind of pulling them down. And, and we have shame. So someone had to purge, you know, maybe some fake ass friends that they was hanging around with who were misleading them. And now there's a sense of shame for how your person is feeling because they know that they have, you know, destroyed a family, but they do desire to rebuild it. They desire to rebuild this family. This is someone, some of y'all got, you know, abandoned, you know, when you were pregnant. They just completely disowned you, you know, dis, you know, completely re uh, rejected or neglected the responsibility of being a father. But someone needed rescuing. Maybe someone had drinking addictions, sex addictions, like I was picking up earlier. But there was a lot of deceit with this person. They were very dark. So look at this wisdom. What and we're clarifying. I'm telling you, you can't make this up. This is why I do what I do, beloved. Trust. My soul sisters. So knowledge is self, right? You left me in my darkest times. This is how someone was feeling in their emotions. But they've gained the wisdom during that dark night of the soul journey. It takes for us to go through the most painful, toxic, traumatic situations in order to learn who we truly are and what we are made of. And someone that did this to you is realizing who you are, how beautiful, how wise, how loving, nurturing, caring, and kind you've always been. And they're ashamed because all you've done was give. All you did was try to ground the connection. All you did was feed it and nurture it. You were trying to be, you know, that divine feminine who is, she's the true backbone of the, the household. And there's a train going by. Let's let that go. I'm picking up on the fact that you created a safe space between you and this person. That was the only way a lot of you were able to do your soul work because this person was a distraction. And I feel like, you know, they, they were so caught up and stuck in a, a dark space that whatever they were dealing with, it was affecting their ability to see things clearly, which is why they flat out abandoned their family. What person just ups and abandons their family without some sort of negative influence? Whether that be drinking, whether that be drugs, whether that be an energy vampire, succubus, incubus energy, whether that be a, 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 a karmic who's doing root work and spell work and putting juju, hoodoo, voodoo, santaria, black magic on their asses. But there were some dark forces because they left you during times that they should have been your support system because if you are this family, then you're supposed to be loyal to your family. You're supposed to be faithful to your family. You ain't supposed to put somebody else before your family. And that's what destroyed. There was a lot of lies. There was deception. There was gaslighting, tricknology. They was playing with your mind to get what they wanted, but they was deceiving you. Now somebody's wanting to rock with you because they realize the errors in their ways. Somebody new wants to rock with you. With this know the ledge, wise the dome, this is somebody new that's coming in who's wise. And we have dual energy with the owls. And remember, I was picking up on mirror. Somebody that was coming in was mirroring you. So you have two owls, which represents two people have gone through their dark night of the soul journey, who just happens to be twin flames. You know what I'm saying? Who happens to be the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang. Remember that showed up during the pre-shuffle, baby. I can't make this up. I'm just reading the cards, beloved. So you are going to, you know, have a, a, a decision, you know, because that person, someone 
was also, you know, left out in the cold. So they know exactly what you're dealing with, which is why they're coming and speaking your love language, because that's what they want. They want someone emotionally intelligent. So next we're um, clarifying this energy of fellowship, pull libation, socialize, get out there. And then we have emotional investment. So what did I say? This is how they feel about you. They feel like you are in tune, tapped in. They know that you're also someone that has been doing your work. They know that you are a master manifester. They know you have knowledge of self as well, because this is the knowledge card and this is know thyself. This is the person, how they're feeling in their emotions, how they feel about you is you also have that sense of knowledge. You also are a spark of light. You also know how to master manifest. Whatever you learn, whatever it is that you learn, you apply it and you can see it manifest in this real reality. This person wants to invest in you because they feel like you are their twin flame. They feel like you match their fly. Bobby Brown is saying, I want to rock with you. That's what this person wants to do. And they're saying, look, socialize, get out there. Remember, I was saying this person's going to want to court you. A lot of you may be, may, may be learning things and you may be kind of like in that hermit mode, learning, studying, creating. You know what I'm saying? You're in a very safe place, a studious energy where you're building your wisdom, your knowledge, your inner standing. But this person is wanting to like take you out, court you. They're going to be charming. They're going to invite you out to eat, to, you know, to do things together. This is someone that wants to emotionally build a relationship, a connection with you. They want to rock with you, boo-boo. They want to rock with you. And next we have, I see you. And what does this person see you doing? I'm living my best life. Uh, I ain't going back and forth with you, Naga. <laughs> Naga. Right? You are living your best life and this person's fine. He's fine, fine, fine. Watching your ass have fun for the first time in a long time because somebody is coming in to pull your ass up out of your comfort zone, to pull you up out of the house. Remember, I was picking up with the rock because that rock street, whatever card was um, song was playing by the Blackbirds. And now we got rock with you. So this person definitely is wanting to solidify, solidify something real with you. But that emotional investment, this person wants something secure, something real, something solid. And so now this person is now, what? She's going out? My divine feminine is being courted? My divine feminine has the potential of being picked up by someone else? And she's enjoying herself? She's smiling more? She's more vibrant? Her energy levels is up and high? Like somebody is watching you enjoy the, your best life. And this is that person that did not know how to give. This is that person that you cut off because you was not with the shits anymore. So now they're watching you have fun. They're watching you, you know, find your happiness again. And they're not, they, they're not happy with that. They're, they're very perturbed by that truth, by that fact. And um, so let's, com let's continue, see where this goes. Look at this, judgment. Want to return, what did I say? Decisions, decisions. Someone from your past wanting to reconcile while a new boo coming in. That new new is coming in and that old thing is trying to hold you back from going. But you see these chains? You're going to have to break the chains because that's all an illusion. You know what I'm saying? This is the illusion that that person had you in. Remember, you, you had free dome. Remember the free dome was underneath this card. This is what tra entrapment is. Is when you feel that you're trapped, that's, then you're trapped. But this is you looking at another version of yourself maybe this is you and that other you know what i'm saying that other version of yourself that has died because this 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 mud, this moth is family to the butterfly it's just nocturnal so this is a battle between the feminine i mean the 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 um light and and uh, dark aspects of oneself and the journey that you have to take in order to free your mind free your mind the rest shall follow i'm hearing in vogue so you got to break these chains mentally, mentally. And that's what freedom is when you're mentally trapped through someone gaslighting, mind fucking you. And then we have sensitivity playing by Ralph Smart. So someone was insensitive to your needs. Some of them was calling y'all fat and you just thick and plump in the right places. But they was doing that just to fuck with your mind, to make you feel low about yourselves. What somebody else feels is trash is someone else's treasure. Trust. Because this person treated you like trash for some of you divine feminines. And now you're attracting someone sensitive that's going to speak the same love language for you beautiful souls. 
but this was a part of your journey. This was a part of your life's purpose. Like you had to go through this to discover your power, to discover your worth, your value. This is that dark night of the soul. You're going to have to make the judgment call. The divine is saying, remember I was saying you was being tested. You can't be, you can't emerge someone new without being probed and tested. That's what judgment is. The divine probes you, tests you to see if you really want what you say you want. And so now there's an opportunity to make that decision. This is beautiful. This is crazy. I, 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 I can't make this up. Trust your intuition, beloved. You have to trust it. So why is the seven here? Why is the seven here for what's hidden in the energy? And we have surrender. See that? Look at that. We got surrender. Surrender. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so they want you to surrender. Surrender. Don't try to control. Don't try. Just trust the process. See what you feel intuitively. Don't try to fight it. Don't try to force it. Surrender to the process. Everything happens in divine timing. So the divine is going to show you something. And these dolphins represent balance. So it's almost as if the divine is kind of guiding you someplace. This person is, is like, this boat represents travel. You know what I'm saying? There could be distance. So for many of you, this also, them being in the middle of the sea, this is about emotion. So you have to like surrender to the process. You cannot allow yourselves to be like manipulated emotionally. Surrender to what you feel intuitively, to what you know intuitively. You have to speak emotions. You know what I'm saying? You gotta speak energy rather. And then you have this, it sounds good, but. So surrender to what you feel energetically. Trust your intuition because you know, someone else is also surrendering. I feel like this person is also surrendering to what they've discovered. They're surrendering to being more sensitive, more soft, because they know in the past they didn't give you nothing to work with. They know that they didn't give you a thing to work with. They did not know how to connect with you on an emotional level because they lacked that understanding because they were hardened. But now they're going to try to be a little more sensitive. And the divine is like, look, it sounds good, but... So this is telling you there's going to be a level of technology. There could be someone trying to dupe you. You've persevered through some difficulties. Don't ever forget where you came from. Don't ever forget what this person put you through. Don't ever forget it. Forgive it, but don't forget it. Because you went through some really difficult times, baby. It wasn't no cakewalk. You know what I'm saying? And even though this is a handicapped divine feminine, she's pushing through that like what? All you see is road. You don't even see a house in, in plain sight. So how many miles have she, has she been running? How, many, how long has this journey been? Perseverance. Pushing through those difficulties. Seeing where you see. Push, envisioning yourself where you wish to be and going. Just going and not being afraid. This is what the divine said. You've persevered through some difficulties and this is why you're attracting your soul tribe because you discovered your strength. You discovered your power. Powerful. And we got somebody, um, someday, excuse me, we'll all be free by Donnie Hathaway. So someday we'll all be free. And that's a beautiful, beautiful, so freeing yourself from something that's keeping you stuck and stagnant. You know what I'm saying? And this is the day I, I'm hearing. And today is the day. So someday, maybe for some of y'all, y'all needed to hear this message and you know exactly what you knew, what you need to do. But I feel like as soon as you free yourselves, this soul, this, this, this soulmate, this divine masculine, this, this twin flame, he's coming in for you. He's going to snatch your ass up. Look at this. And he's going to take you on an adventure. They're telling you, take risks, do something different, do something daring. Be fearless when you do it too. Have fun. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Change. Change is coming. It's inevitable. And then you have challenge. So someone's coming in that's going to challenge you. You're going to have to make a decision and it's going to be challenging. But they're telling you with this snake. And remember, I was picking up with that energy of speaking through a forked tongue. Someone is going to pretend like they've changed. You've changed. So you changing has triggered someone else to change. But you have outgrown something. This snake is shedding its skin. You know what I'm saying? And remember the mirroring. So someone else has gone through major transformation and changes. And the two of you are, you know, definitely meeting at the, at the divine timing. 
there's divine timing that's of the essence here. And this person is going to come in because they've also want to challenge you. I feel like you're going to meet the challenge. The two of you, someone's going to come in and try to challenge your connection also. And I feel like it's because you're changing, you know, you're changing up on someone. I feel like there's also, you know, this is speaking to the changes, the positive changes, the growth, the evolution that you have had. And now there's someone coming in and they're going to challenge you. They're going to challenge you to be better. And they're going to challenge you to be adventurous and spontaneous and have fun. And the divine is telling you, trust your inner compass when it comes to this. Because, you know, I, like I was saying, there's like a fork, you know, there's a fork in the road. And you can be, you can go in two different directions. And I feel like the divine is telling you, one direction is going to be challenging while the other is going to lead to a beautiful change and transformation. And this person and you have gone through similar things. I feel like this person that was a snake triggered your transformation, triggered your growth. And someday we'll all be free. So when are you going to be free? Is it going to be today, next year? You're going to keep on traveling down this road? Look at the sanctuary here. And then we have the judgment card. So yes, yeah, someone is really trying to, um, they're really trying to return. And you're going to have to make a judgment call. Um, let's do a couple more tarot cards and then we're going to end the reading. I don't want to do it too long. Sun card on the bottom of the deck. So the sun card on the bottom of the deck, baby. You know what? Spirit is telling me just get two cards just to pick up on the energy. We're not going to do, you know, because this, this is a very long reading. And I feel like what I needed to say was said. So let's just see with the tarot cards what comes out. Divine spirit, look at that divine feminine pre-emperor status, walking away from what no longer serves you, from something that left you feeling emotionally bankrupt, unfulfilled, someone who was lying, cheating, someone who was not really, a, you know, a commitment type, but now they're recognizing, realizing you're worth your value, taking you for granted. See that sneaky, snaky. Speaking through forked tongues, delusional. This is that deceptive energy. That's what you was dealing with. Someone who was a commitment foe. Someone who was in and out. Who wasn't fully committed. Someone who, you know, who was like in and out constantly. Wanting a judgment call. Wanting to have a new start. Wanting to reconcile. I'm hearing one in their family back. You got the man, woman, and child here. My spirit of love and light. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on. Betrayal, backstabbing, lies, deception. This is what the divine was telling you to purge, to release, to see things clearly. You know what I'm saying? Use your intuition. Those ten swords will teach you a lot about yourself. It will teach you how to be strong, how to stand erect. So divine spirit of love and light. So this is your energy walking away. I feel like a lot of you are choosing to walk away. What was I saying earlier? You focused on the new new. You focused on the new new and you're going to be very selfish with your energy and your time and your love and your emotion moving forward. People are going to have to prove. You know what I'm saying? It's like, sh show me. Not show me, but sh show me. Forget talking to me. Show me. See that tower? That's what you're walking away from. You're walking away from somebody who caused that tower moment. And this was a relationship that was built on lies and deception anyway. It was inevitable. That's why I was picking up. It was inevitable for this shit to crash and burn. Because it was a lot of lies, deception. And you two were supposedly building together. You know, you had the high priest, uh, the high, um, the high priest, what was it? The hierophant there, which means that was a commitment, a marriage, a, 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 you know, a solid connection that you were building. This could be the mother, father to your child. Y'all lived together, planted roots. You know, it was, this was a real thing going on here, but somebody was not being their authentic selves. They was lying and cheating and you had to walk away from that. Look at this sun being eclipsed, hiding the truth, deception, lies. You had to purge that shit. Divine spirit of love and light. Give me another message. Thank you, spirit. And we have the king of swords. Look at that. So there's a truth coming out. You was dealing with somebody who was very like in and out. Someone who kind of felt, you know, everything. The grass, right? You know, the grass was um, not grass. The water. What, how do you say it? They thought that. Oh, my God. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> they were trying to rule with an iron fist. Somebody very controlling, perhaps. Very player. Somebody who has wandering eyes. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that you was dealing with, perhaps. And I feel like a lot of you, you know, you turned and transformed into this, like this 
king of swords energy where you just kind of like cut the end you know cut that person off you may have like just you know took the advice from the divine like you know said purge people places and things and you just cut out what, of your life what wasn't serving you and we see these butterflies which means transformation and that's what you all did divine feminine you transformed into that king of swords energy where you started to think more logically and you was dealing with somebody who was like you know you you couldn't keep their attention because they had a wandering eye this is somebody who wasn't fully committed somebody who was in and out somebody who was just like constantly you know destroying what you all was trying to build and that's that that energy so we got a couple of en uh, cards that are clarifying so we have the star and temperance so the star represents you you know moving forward with your healing process the star is a very powerful energy you became the co-creator. You realize you're, you're, this is the epitome of your vulnerabilities being your superpower. You don't get no more vulnerable than this naked feminine. But you learned how to balance yourselves emotionally. You've purged. She's purging what doesn't serve her. She's releasing. She's letting go. And this is the strongest, most profound thing you can do when you're not being fulfilled. Is to walk away. Self-love makes you more attractive. That's the epitome of that. And you walked away to go find yourself, to heal yourself, to, to, to go and plant roots, roots elsewhere. And so now you're co-creating. You've learned how to manifest. This is alchemy. This is the alchemist. You know what I'm saying? The waterbender. So you knew how to like find your, your emotional balance while you also found balance here. And the divine stepped in to bring balance, to restore balance, so that you wouldn't be distorted, so that you could see the truth. So perhaps there's communication that's going to come in that will bring balance. Maybe someone is coming in to confess the truth, to speak, you know, to provide, uh, you know, some sort of closure or maybe, maybe even just an apology. Maybe closure is too far-fetched. Maybe some of y'all ain't even checking for closure, but maybe you just, you know, maybe you're going to unexpectedly just get an apology. But I do feel like divine timing was of the essence. It was very necessary for some of you all to find balance. For some of you all to be balanced mind, body, and spirit. And I feel like a lot of you have come, you know, down this journey. You've been on a soul journey, a spiritual journey, and you've gained the enlightenment. And you've been protected on this journey. This is what, you know, spiritual guidance, divine protected is. And it's because you started to see clearly. You cut out of your life what wasn't serving you, and you was able to see clearly. And we have devotion here playing by earth, wind, and fire. So you were devoted. You were devoted to this process. And through your devotion, you are now going to be blissed. You're going to be watched. You know, you're going to be protected. And it's the end of a toxic cycle. You've gave, 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 fought for this connection. And now you're leaving. You're devoted to your happiness. You're devoted to your, 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 um, your future, your life, your children, your family. You're devoted to your dream, living your dream, and you're not letting anybody overstep your boundaries anymore. And this is the end. This is the end of you having to be super duper, you know what I'm saying, defensive. You're moving out of that energy because you see clearly. And you're going to move forward and you're going to take action and you're going to go after what you desire. And somebody's feeling left out in the cold and abandoned because you now put up the boundaries. But what's done is done. Finn! This is done done and this also means that you're open to the new. But you've learned a lot of lessons. Some of you were abandoned, left out in the cold. But you persevered through all of that. And this energy is some of the most powerful energy you can look at as well. Because even though these two are broken, some of them ain't even want, I think they ain't even wearing shoes. But they never gave up. They didn't just stop. They're still moving. There's still movement. And this lets you know that patience is also a form of action. They didn't give up. They didn't give in. They didn't turn to pessimistic, you know, self-loathing individuals. They believed in the possibility of change. And that's what they went to do. Seek counsel, to seek guidance. They prayed, they petitioned, and they're going to get it. So this is beautiful. And the end is here. So the end of a tough karmic cycle. The end of dealing with dark entities, dark energies. The end of third parties. And now the beginning of this new you. Independence is the foundation for your strength, for your security, for your happiness, for your peace of mind. And when you know your worth, when you know your value, when you love that self, you attract someone who also loves themselves, who also appreciates you. 
and not only will they appreciate you, they will be devoted to this connection because they're seeking emotional investment and longevity. So Scorpio, I said Scorpios. So for some of y'all divine feminines, obviously you're Scorpios, but for you beautiful divine feminines, thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. You have real love here and you got big decisions, big choices to make because you're going to have two options. Choose wisely, beloved. Remember what the divine said. Use your first side to see. Move on with and upward or keep it moving. Don't, don't look backwards. Forward movement. There was a lot of jewels dropped. Use your first side to see. You had the seven, which is telling you to listen to your intuition. But you have two people coming in. One is a divine masculine that's going to match your fly. You're the divine feminine. The yang to your yin. The yin to your yang. So you have some beautiful energy coming in while you also have someone else who's just waking up to who you were in their life and they're going to want to try to come back and you're going to have some tough decisions to make but I feel like the divine is challenging you and the divine is testing you to see if what you want is what you really want because this is a game of chess not checkers beloveds and it's obviously a game of chess in terms of love so Choose wisely. Love you. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that this reading resonated with you all, please be kind. Hit that like, that share, that subscribe, and definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. And to all who are new, I appreciate you and hope that you stay a while. For all who are returning, you already know what it is, babies. Love is love is love. Divine feminines, go get it. Love you. Peace. Ashe.